University of Texas energy experts issued a new report analyzing this week's call for all Texans to conserve power and the possibility that there's a connection to February's winter storm. KXA on politics reporter John Engel breaks down the findings. Heat replaced cold, but the conditions that led to ERCOT's order to conserve energy this week were the same as February's winter storm, an issue of supply and demand, according to a new study from the University of Texas. Most demand response programs within Texas, the researchers wrote, currently focus on incentivizing load reduction during summer peak periods, and many are only available for commercial and industrial customers. The Texas electric grid continues to fly too close to the sun. Hayes County Representative Aaron Zweener says state lawmakers took steps to improve the grid this legislative session, but should also look to incentivize individual households when conservation is needed. To offer those types of deals to Texans, you have to have what we call advanced meter infrastructure or smart metering installed at your home. Um, we don't have that uh, consistently across the state of Texas, so not every electrical provider can offer that. We still don't know why several thermal generating plants broke down. That information is confidential for 60 days. Sweener says that needs to change. And with Governor Greg Abbott calling a special session to spend billions of federal coronavirus relief funds, she says that money should go to help utilities pay to weatherize. We as a state have to invest in resilient infrastructure if we want it to work. John Engel, KXAN News.